Hi everyone, it's Pastor Dan with another uplifting thought for today. This week, we're talking about a new season of discipleship in 2021. And today, I want to begin by looking at a man named Simeon. Do you know Simeon's story? I call him Sim because one of my youth group leaders when I was a teenager was named after Simeon, and we all called him Sim. It's the only person I know with that name. Mary and Joseph just happened to run into Simeon when they had taken baby Jesus to the temple. It's the second time the Holy Family came into the temple together. The first time was when Jesus was circumcised on the eighth day, which is now a baptism ceremony, and he was formally given the name Jesus because he will save us from our sins. And now, 32 days later, or 40 days after Jesus was born, they're back in the temple again, this time to offer sacrifice and to consecrate their child to the Lord. And Luke tells us Simeon just happened to be there that day. Do you see? We are reading about a divine appointment that looks like a simple everyday coincidence. And when Simeon saw Jesus, he took the child in his arms and began to sing. Maybe it was the first Christmas carol, I don't know. It's recorded for us in Luke chapter 2, verses 30 and 32. You promised me, O God, that I would see with my own eyes what I'm seeing now, your freedom, raised up in the presence of all peoples. He is the light who reveals your message to the other nations, and he is the shining glory of your covenant people, Israel. Simeon sings praises when he sees Jesus. It's a moment of clarity. In the infant Jesus, Simeon has seen a sign that the Lord has kept the promises he made to the Israelites. And because he is trusting in God's promises, Simeon is able to accept his own death whenever that will come with courage. He believes God will give him life eternal through Jesus. And he knows God's promises are for all of us. So this new year, look for divine appointments in your everyday life and look ahead for the promises of God, promises of blessings upon you and your family in the new year. Ask God for specific blessings on children or neighbors or colleagues, maybe, maybe about direction in life, whatever. Be bold and specific. By the way, Simeon was old. He was really old, but Luke tells us he lived for the promise that one day he would see God's promise fulfilled, and he sang. So remember to sing in 2021. Songs have power, and they, they enable us to express our faith from within. So this new year, find time to sing. Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Mine is Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and you probably like Go Tell It on a Mountain. We can sing alone, or we can sing with our choir, or we can sing with one of our bands. Sing in the shower, or sing when you're driving down the road. Look for moments of clarity, and embrace your age, and sing praise to God. Simeon did. That way, you'll have a better new year. Hey, thanks for listening. I'll see you tomorrow.